here's a, a quick bit of trivia for you too. Mm-hmm. I was actually interviewed by them in 2004, April 2004. For be- screensavers? No, uh, on C- on CNET. Okay. Because I had a flip phone and I was it was the first camera phone, basically from Sprint. And it was like it was a mad rush on people that were starting to document their lives. Holy crap! Here it is. And and they started talking about <laughs> will mo blogs mean mo money with yes. Douglas Durda? What? what the heck? What? <laughs> what? I'm pulling this up. Hold on. So so back then, uh, I got into I was taking pictures, and I there was a thing called Text America, which yeah, was really big. Yes, yes. And I I I started to become friends with a lot, and I'm still friends with a lot of those guys. And I was the official you know governor of Pennsylvania. Because I had, I took like <laughs> two thousand photos, like I went crazy with their service. I'm like, this is fantastic, and I met people all over the country. Well, then Text America, I think. And by the way, this is this service. is dated on April first, and it's not an April Fool's joke either. <laughs> I thought it was when the the guy got a hold of me on AOL Instant Messenger oh, of all things and said, <laughs> I saw I saw your website that you're putting up photos, and I saw Text America. Do you want to talk? And and then it started. That was like the first time I, I was ever published in something that wasn't man, like my church bulletin or you were you were the man. Because I always wanted to get into the text America because I was starting to hear about it. And, uh, and they, I never got my T-shirt, and I still hold those guys. Oh. Kevin uh, Slack working or Slack working was his name. You still owe me a shirt, buddy. Like half uh, the I'm people, send this to him. half the people are at Twitter or doing other or being supported by Patreon by now. So. <laughs> I don't know if that's happening. I snap pictures whenever I can, said Douglas Durda, a 28-year-old web developer in Pittsburgh who has 28. been mo-blogging since November. Mo-blogging sat, quote, satisfies that bit of vanity in all of us. Everyone deep down wants to be a star or recognize in some way, be, or, or recognize in some way. With a mo-blog, you open yourself for the whole world to see. Was I not predicting the future of what? Oh, look at you. I'm a visionary. Eleven years ago, <laughs> you were talking about this stuff. See, it wasn't forty then. <laughs> <laughs> it's on record with it CNET, is. the 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 site of record. <laughs> <laughs> on April first. <laughs> on, on April first. Yeah. <laughs> wow, we're sharing that one out. Uh, um, the funny thing is, so my boss was across. I did it at work. Yeah. Uh, when I worked for a company, a tech company, and um, my boss across the hall heard the interview, like when I was doing it over the phone. And he's like, that will never take off. <laughs> <laughs> Who would want to do that? Who, you know what? You, and I was getting into like, I was in Friendster and MySpace. He's like, who wants to act like they're in high school all the time? <laughs> Apparently <laughs> everybody. <laughs> all right. All I'm right. going to send them the link to this. So Robert. You still want to happen, buddy. <laughs> Put this out. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, um, geez, I don't know. We, we should close out this. But we got to get going.